So the demand for AI skills is, is growing in 2025 and more industries and more companies are demanding professionals with artificial intelligence skills. And the evidence suggests that if you have more AI skills, that is more chances for you to bolster your resume and of course also bolster your paycheck. In fact, indeed researchers are suggesting that generative AI skills can boost your salary by as much as 47% and we can take a look at it here this is an indeed article uh, i want to say from february 2024 and here you see the top 10 highest paid skills in tech and number one is generative ai salaries ranging from 175 four thousand dollars this is 40 47 percent difference if you have these skills generative artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence capable of generating text images or other data using generative models often in response to prompts and this is good stuff a lot of stuff that we need to be looking at in terms of you know boosting ourselves so in this video i'm going to be looking at five self-paced free ai courses that you can study in 2025 and they are all from nvidia nvidia of course is the world's leader when it comes to artificial intelligence and computing so that's what we're looking at in this video let's not waste any more time Let's jump right in. So whatever your goals are, be it um, leveraging AI to improve your business or your entrepreneur journey or to freelance or to do some gigs for people or just simply something you want to you know, bank up for the future or to actually bolster your career, your current career in terms of job or you just want to, you know, know something new. This is the video for you and there is no price tag to it in terms of what you can learn. So we're going to be looking at getting started with image segmentation, all of these courses, like I said, five of them from NVIDIA. We're gonna be looking at building a brain in 10 minutes. We're gonna be looking at generative AI explain. We're gonna be looking at accelerated data science workflow with zero code changes. And of course, we're also gonna be looking at developing an AI background generator with NIM. So those are all five that we're gonna be looking at. Let's jump in. So course number one, is getting started with image segmentation. Segmentation is a task of placing each pixel of an image into specific class. And so this is what this course is about. It's a two hour course. It's very, very introductory, deep learning. It's an English course. And of course it's free like we've mentioned. The key here is that by the end of this course, you'll be able to set up most computer vision workflows using deep learning, which is important and great stuff. So. You could also request a private workshop for this course and of course enroll here. I'm gonna be putting the links to these down below in the description. I always put the links down below so you can click all five of them. It's gonna be under learn more and apply and go directly to whatever course it is that you're interested in taking. So that's number one, getting started with image segmentation. Second course that you can take is building a brain in 10 minutes. And literally, yo, this class or course is 10 minutes. You can complete this in 10 minutes. It's introductory of course free and and the notebook explores biological and phys physiological inspirations to the world's first neural network so the goal of this course is to explore how neural networks use data to learn and understand the math behind a neuron so topics that are covered in this course are ai data neurons and tensor workflow too by the way a lot of this course is going to mention tensor network and i ain't going to claim to know it <laughs> but we're going to use Uncle Google to see what tensor workflow is used for. And so it can be used to develop modules for various tasks, including natural language processing. So it looks like, you know, it uses language Python and C++ uh, developed by Google and Google Brain. So some good stuff there, stuff that, you know, if you into this, you definitely want to know. And this is the course outline here. So this one can be knocked out in literally 10 minutes. So that's that's one that if you have some Python understanding, you definitely can get this done easier. If not, you would want to start maybe with learning a little bit of Python, at least the basics, the very basics of Python. So that's course number two that you can take. So course number three is Generative AI Explained. This one is a free course as well. It's technical, but it's also beginner friendly and it's two hours. So in this course, you will be learning how Generative AI describes technologies that are used to generate new content based on a variety of inputs. So think chat GPT, when you go on chat GPT and you put in a prompt and it scrivers the internet, 
or uh, Gemini and it looks all over the internet and it brings that paragraph response of what you go, what you search in there, whether it's, you know, it's green tea mixed with black tea good for you and what are the benefits, what, whatever you searching, it's going to scavenge the internet, generate an output based on the input. So that's what this course is about. The good thing is this no, there's no coding in this course. So they said this no coding course provides an overview of generative AI concepts and applications, as well as the challenges and opportunities in this exciting field. So if you're a little shy from coding, don't want to learn Python, this is one that you could definitely take. And that's course number three. Course number four, if you have some experience using common Python libraries or basic understanding of data processing and knowledge of standard data science workflows, then you can be good with course number four. And that is accelerated data science workflows with zero code changes. So this course, if you, like I said, if you understand how to use some common Python libraries, you should be good in this course because the topics in this course covers rapids to speed up your CPU based data science workflow. So in order to get to that, you, you have to understand that in this course, you'll be learning how to use rapids to speed up your CPU based data science workflow and understanding that Nvidia uses rapids to offer a seamless experience to enable GPU acceleration for many existing data science tasks with zero code changes. Don't know what that means because I'm not taking these things, but just wanted to provide that, you know, these links, because that's what this channel is all about. Really just providing you with the opportunities to, you know, just level up things that you might be interested in, especially in tech, because that's what I'm in. I'm a cybersecurity professional and across different fields. I'm just passionate about this stuff, seeing people level up, seeing people grow. So I do my research. I find these things, make sure they're legit and put them on this channel. If you enjoy them, great. If not, pass it on to the next person who might. So that's course number four. So the last, but certainly not least that we're going to talk about in this specific video and keep in mind, they have different courses, free courses on Nvidia website, but these are just ones that I think are beginner friendly that you could definitely take and just start learning, putting on your resume and building your portfolio. This one is also free. It's two hours long and it's developing an AI background generator with NIM. So after completing this course, you will be able to develop your own generative AI extensions capable of various of uh, a variety of tasks. So you can repeat the steps from this course to add or to develop an NIM or API to leverage your own Omniverse application. So stuff that is intermediate and that you can literally take and build other stuff. So also they claim after completing this course, you'll be able to develop your own generative AI extensions, which is just a rep repetition of what they just wrote here. And they need to fix that on the Nvidia website, get AI to fix this. <laughs> We're making mistakes in real time. And that's what I love about myself. So you can see here a basic understanding of 3D applications is useful, but not required. And you must have some VS code and Git installed before you can begin this course. So it's a little bit more intermediate for this one, but also on the two hours or so two hours, give or take that you can complete this particular course. So like I said, each of these free AI courses can, can be completed literally in less than a day with, you know, course length generally from two hours and below and one of them is actually 10 minutes so if you have some basic understanding definitely do your research enroll see what the prerequisites are and the course materials are that way you can prepare yourself before you jump in take your learning serious upskill your journey further you can even enroll with an instructor-led workshop from from nvidia but you will need to pay for those if not everything else is free so jump in and start learning right now. This course is might be the best investment that you make this year for yourself. So I encourage you to do so. And uh, let me know if you like this video, what you're looking for from this channel. I read the comments. I really appreciate you for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe. My name is Flex and I will see you on the next video. Peace.